Well, I've been incredibly busy up late at night, so I haven't had time to upload videos or work on projects, and there is a great reason why. We have been incredibly blessed with this new addition to our family. Everything went very smoothly, mom is doing well, my three boys are in cloud nine to have a little sister, and I couldn't be happier myself. So I was up late at night browsing the internet, researching 3D printing, and I came across this new magnetic iron PLA, and also a conductive PLA. See me CNC was selling this stuff on their website. They have no idea I'm making this video, but I decided to go ahead and order some of it and see if I couldn't make a 3D printed transformer with an SGR driver type circuit. For anybody who's interested, I'll post a link in the video description to laserhacker.com. You can find the schematic, the 3D files, stuff like that. Okay, this is magnetic iron PLA. And this is some really interesting material. You can see here that it's quite magnetic. You can uh, pick this stuff up with a magnet. It's supposed to rust over time, so it has some very interesting properties. And uh, you can see here I printed a core for electromagnet. We'll test that out. And you can also notice that it's a lot heavier than uh, a regular PLA or ABS printed part. It also sounds like a cross between a uh, you know, metal and plastic, which is pretty much exactly what it is. So. Now even though this is a ferromagnetic material, when testing I discovered that it did not make a strong electromagnet. I think its low permeability is due to the fact that the iron is dispersed throughout the PLA, and I think that inhibits it from concentrating the magnetic flux into a strong field. If you compare it to this smaller ferrite core, you can see that the magnetic iron PLA does a very poor job when creating electromagnets. Now all that being said, I was able to create a functional working 3D printed transformer using this material. Now I designed this transformer in such a way that I could test the current draw as an air core and then put the 3D printed iron toroidal transformer around the coils and do another current measurement. This allowed me to test whether or not the 3D printed iron transformer core was actually increasing efficiency or not. And there was a measurable increase in efficiency when I placed these coils inside of this toroidal core. So this 3D filament, it's worth experimenting with, it's worth prototyping new ideas with. You do need to be careful if you run a high current through these coils, they would heat up and probably melt the PLA. Okay, that's enough talking about the 3D filament. Let's check out the first SGR 3D printed transformer. We have two AC uh, LED light bulbs here. I'll go ahead and kick those on. These are crazy bright. This is probably driving at too high a voltage and these would probably uh, get damaged if I run it this bright very long. But you can see that this uh, 3D printed transformer is working just fine. So that's very interesting. Let's go ahead and swap over here to a larger uh, LED bulb. This is a 40 watt equivalent. So it's a, like a 10 to 12 watt LED bulb, but equivalent to a 40 watt incandescent. Lights up just fine. So very cool. This is just like a, a SGR uh, circuit that I normally you know, use a ferrite for. But in this case, I'm using this iron filled PLA. Now, to be fair, the SGR circuits, they do run even on an air core coil. But I've done some tests uh, with my multimeter to see if there's an added efficiency between just running this as an air core or with this iron filled uh, toroid around it. And there is a significant drop in current draw when I run it you know, with this toroid around it. And this is just my first test. I'm just beginning to experiment with this material. But you can see it lights up the incandescent bulb, lights up the LED bulbs. Let's throw a CFL on here. We'll see if it lights up the uh, CFL. Come on, warm up. It's almost lighting that one up. There we go. So it lights up the CFL as well. So very interesting material. Okay, so these guys also create a conductive PLA. And you know, this will open a whole new world of being able to literally uh, 3D print your wires right into your uh, 3D print. So looking forward to trying this as well. Now, of course, there's gonna be limitations. You're not gonna wanna carry a lot of current uh, across this because this is a very low uh, melting point. It's PLA, so it melts at a low temperature. But for a lot of stuff, uh, I can probably print some leads right into my 3D print. So I may try that in like a SGR looper type circuit, a low current uh, type circuit. So check, uh, I'll probably do this in a future video, so keep an eye out for that.